All right, hi there everybody. So I wanted to make this video because I know that I am not the only person to experience this so far and I know that the rest of you will need to see this at some point. So a little over a week ago, I was in the middle of recording a class. Um, I was well into it, it was calculus. We were 35 minutes into it and all of a sudden, Screencast-O-Matic just stopped recording. It froze up. I couldn't do anything. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't resume recording. I couldn't do anything with recording. I couldn't figure it out. And, and after a while, I realized what had happened is that I had ran out of storage um, on my computer, and there was no more space for Screencast-O-Matic to be recording this. So what I want you to do is, is the first thing we need to do is we need to check and see how are you doing on your storage on your Mac. So click up here on the Apple and choose about this Mac and then go to storage. And we can see right here on my computer that I have 137 gigabytes still available out of the 250. So I'm sitting, sitting pretty well. But what happened on that day is I noticed that these bars were all, all the way over here and I only had something like 200 megabytes left. I had very little storage left and Screencast-O-Matic couldn't put the video anywhere as it was recording. So first step is to um, see what your storage is currently at on your computer. Now to understand a little bit about how Screencast-O-Matic works, we've really toted um, the fact that Screencast-O-Matic, when you save them as a video file, are really, really small compared to videos made with iPads that could be enormous. Okay. Well, through this circumstance here, I, I discovered some additional things about Screencast-O-Matic that I wasn't aware of. So when we are recording and we, and we finish, we can choose to save it as a file, upload to Screencast-O-Matic, those type of things. But when we're done, I mean, during the video, during the recording, it has to be put in that video somewhere. So if you go into your Finder and you choose My Documents, you will notice that Screencast-O-Matic has created a folder in here for you. Um, you have not done this intentionally, but it does it as part of the program that's running. And you will see Recordings. And then you will see in here folders that are the same recordings that you've made recently. So for me, this is just from yesterday. Okay, I recorded four different classes um, and it made these folders for each. Now I've already uploaded them to Screencast-O-Matic. Okay? But I just wanna show you this folder. Okay? You open this, you open data, and it just looks like a bunch of gibberish to us, right? That's because Screencast-O-Matic, again, has to be putting this information on your computer somewhere for you then to save as a file or upload to Screencast-O-Matic. Now, here's what's nice. I've already uploaded all these to Screencast-O-Matic. Or if you've already saved them as a video file, you don't need these anymore. And what's important to notice here is how big these files are. So if I take this calc and I went the full hour, I mean, this was a 50, 55 minute video. It was pretty long. And if I choose get info, you can see here that this is a 7.29 gigabytes. This is a really large uh, folder here with all that data from that recording. Called Algebra, this was quite a bit shorter. This recording was three gigabytes. I think that was like half an hour um, and so on. So we end up with these really big file folders. And if we go back again to think about our storage on our computer, okay, if I have all these let's say five gigabyte recordings, it's really not gonna take me that long to eat up the rest of my storage. So what you can do is you've, if you already have your video uploaded to Screencast-O-Matic, you don't need these anymore. So I'm going to select them all and I am going to move them to the trash. Okay, so now this folder is empty. I'm gonna look in my trash there they are. I'm going to empty it. Yes, I want to empty that. I don't need them anymore. They're uploaded on Screencast-O-Matic. They're right there. Now, if I go back to about my Mac and I check my storage, okay, now I have 153 gigabytes available instead of the, the number that I had before, which was what, 137 maybe? 
So this is something that everybody's going to have to do at some point. It depends on how many videos you're making and how long they are. If you're someone like me who's making four videos every day and those videos are usually half an hour long, you're going to eat up that storage. So I hope you find this helpful. Um, it's going to allow you to continue to um, make recordings. Again, if you freeze up in the middle of a recording, it's probably a storage issue. It's probably not your Wi-Fi. It's not Screencast-O-Matic's fault. It's just your, that your computer is full. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful.